Hi everyone, good day. I'm Joel Sibulo, Life of Sippers. Now we'll talk about the scrubber or the so-called exhaust gas cleaning system. So in this video, we will show you the installation of our scrubbers. Our vessel is in Japan and uh, we are installing the scrubber to comply with the requirement of the IMO 2020 with regard to sulfur content uh, restrictions so globally they reduced to 0 0.5 the required sulfur content that will be used on our fuel so all the ships that flying international water or local water need to comply with the requirement of the IMO which is 0 0.50 percent sulfur content and in the Eka area you have to still to follow the 0 0.1 percent so the shipping industry has a few options to comply with the mandated IMO 2020 reduction of SOX emission. It can switch to use a compliant fuel with lower sulfur content or alternative fuel, LNG, methanol. So the owner of the vessel uh, choose to install the scrubber. So it's just the same. Uh, if using the scrubber, you will just also reduce the SOX on the atmosphere. So this is all allowed by the IMO. So what is scrubber? A scrubber or the technical term exhaust gas cleaning system EGCS or SOX scrubber are used to remove harmful elements from exhaust gases with strict rules starting in 2020. Ships are implementing exhaust scrubber system geared toward reducing sulfur from 3.5% to 0.5 sulfur. So with the use of the scrubber, if you can, we can still use high sulfur and then when the exhaust goes to the scrubber it will reduce more and more and uh, it will uh, comply with the requirements of less than 0 0.5 once you have the scrubber on board so generally scrubber work by spraying alkaline water into a vessel exhaust to remove sulfur and other unwanted chemicals either via open loop system closed loop system or by hybrid or by hybrid system of the two Controversy remains as to whether this is in fact an environmentally friendly process. Nonetheless, the use of EGS is still widely accepted as a legitimate option in busy trading region across the globe. With the IMO full implementation of 2020, the resultant reduction in sulfur content SOX emission from chip is having major health and environmental benefits to the world. Particularly for the population living close to the port and coast, sulfur oxide are harmful to human health, causing respiratory, cardiovascular, and lung disease. Once released in the atmosphere, SOX can lead to acid rain, which impacts crops, forests, and aquatic species, and contribute, contribute to the acidification of the ocean. Before the entry into the ports of the new limit, most ships were using heavy fuel oil, derived as a residue from crude oil distillation. Heavy fuel oil had a much higher sulfur content, which, following combustion, the engine ended at the ship's emission. Now, the vast majority of the ships are using very low sulfur fuel oil, or they're complying by using a scrubber. And no safety issues had to date been reported to IMO since the implementation of the IMO 2020 SOX reductions. Reducing the sulfur content at the atmosphere really impact on a human health especially the limit had been brought down and the overall superoxide emission from ships reduction equivalent to 8.5 billion metric tons of SOX sulfur oxides are linked to asthma pulmonary cardiovascular and respiratory disease reducing this harmful emission will therefore improve the health of populations especially those living near ports and coasts and help prevent premature death Scrubber allow vessel to continue using heavy fuel oil, a rigid fuel with high energy content that's difficult to refine, providing an environmentally sound outlet for this refinery byproduct. To further process heavy fuel oil, refiners will need to invest heavily in upgrading their facilities which would take years to materialize. Less refining also means less greenhouse gas emission associated with heavy fuel oil versus marine gas oil production. 
Also, the low to lower the combustion temperature maybe will result in less than NOx induction at sea. Independent studies and research demonstrate that scrubbers are capable of removing 60 to 90 percent of particulate matters, including a portion of small particulate matters up to 10 to 10 and 2.5 microns and uh, ultra fine, which result in releasing fewer particulate matters in the atmosphere compared to using the marine gas oil. Scrubbers are also effective in removing black carbon of particular interest because of the potential impact in Arctic regions. During the scrubbing process, any decrease in the pH of the wastewater is largely neutralized by natural alkalinity found in seawater. This ensures that the pH of the discharged water is in compliance with guidelines established by the international maritime organizations. The resulting discharge contains only a slight increase in the natural concentration of solvent in water. The wreck measurement on 40 ships monitored by maritime classification societies while the ships who are in port have shown that pH level of scrubber Discharge water revert to ambient seawater pH level within 2 to 4 meters of the discharge point, exceeding the IMO requirement as shown by the Danish Environmental Agency study. There is negligible identification effect from scrubber even in semi enclosed ocean areas with high traffic le level of scrubber speeded ships. Our vessel is called Fuji Electric Sock Scrubber. This is the world's smallest sock scrubber, removes over 19% of socks by adapting cyclone technology. Fuji Electric Sock Scrubber keeps pressure loss to less than 1 kPa and has achieved significant downsizing. This scrubber is 50% more compact than other sock scrubber on the market. It is lightweight, facilitating installation in ships. This scrubber can remove over 98% of sulfur and excess gases. This operation can be optimized based on engine load, minimizing fuel consumption and impact on operation costs.
for watching. Please like our video and don't forget to subscribe to keep you notified to our latest.